in this module we will talk about the second important feature of stirred fermenter while talking about the basic part of a stirred fermenter in that module we have seen that body vessel agitator or agitation system and a sparger these three are the basic component of a fermenter except we are not talking about the accessories of any fermenter we are talking about those part or those component which are directly attached in a fermenter so body vessel of the fermenter we know that uh, as our main body is so the arms and head and the legs are attached to it and the same way a fermenter or a body vessel is the main and then there is a agitation or agitator system that attached to the body vessel that is a very basic part of a, a component of a stirred fermenter as the name indicates stirred the stirring is needed because when we have to run our fermentation process in a deep cultivation then there is a need of stirring so you can see here that what is the function of the agitation system so agitation system provide good mixing so in case of the good mixing then there is a increase mass transfer what is mass transfer mass transfer can be talk about in the liquid and the bubble boundary layers so when we talk about uh, the agitation that provide the equal contact chance of the medium ingredient to the organism or you can say that organism has the equal chance to go anywhere in the fermenter vessel having the chance of utilization of the fermentation component or ingredient or a nutrients by the same way if there is no stirring though no proper mixing then what happen then there is a depletion of the nutrient surrounding the organism so on one side there is a depletion of surrounding and the same there will be the concentration of the secretions which can cause the toxic environment to that organism so when we talk about the good mixing that have the effect on the mass transfer mean that have the good for the transfer of uh, toxic element out of the uh, environment from the uh, that uh, effect on that have the positive effect to dilute the toxic effect on other hand that have the chance of other nutrient to come closer to the organism so that on other hand it also provide the appropriate shear that required the breaking of the bubbles so when there is a sparger and the air bubbles has to oozes out in the fermentation media agitation system split those bubbles into a small bubbles so as the bubble size decrease then there will be a more surface area when there will be a more surface area then there will be a more chance of the oxygen solubility in the medium that ultimately effect on the metabolic process of the organism as concern the agitation system that consist of an agitator and the baffle so there are the two component of the agitation system one is agitator and other is the baffle so baffles not attached to the agitation system but that is the part of the agitation system so what baffles do i will talk about here that the baffles are used to break the liquid flow to increase the turbulence and mixing efficiency so as we have seen in our uh, daily life and we making up any um, a uh, syrup in our home either milk shake at extra etc just look into the bowl of that there is a in growth so that in growth are basically known as the baffles sometime we put the spoon inside that just to make the more turbulence so if there will be a no baffle what happen there will be a continuous layering of that medium so 
the medium which have a, on a periphery a periphery that remain on a periphery and that medium that is on a, in a center that remain in a center. So, baffles actually give the equal chance of the medium to come in contact from the outside to inside and inside to outside. So, that is only due to the increase in the turbulence. So, in this slide you can see that uh, one part is the baffles and other is the agitator. So, as concerned the agitator that uh, one part is the impeller. So, that can be a one impeller that can be two, three it depend upon the uh, size of the fermenter and the design of the fermenter that how many impellers are attached to the shaft. This is the shaft and then there is a motor and motor we know that motor has to drive this whole system. Along with this there is a sensor that sense this speed of the motor by which we have to control the rpm of the agitation. So, the link of this agitation system that is through the seal as I have told you in our previous module that seal is very critical because there is a continuous uh, process of agitation in case of that seal is very critical. So, this system if the seal is not good then there is a chance of contamination in case of good seal then we have a good and reliable agitation system.